sorry alone is definitely not enough. For the past month, I've not been able to upload a single video on this YouTube channel to update you on my 120 days profitability challenge. And of course, it wasn't intentional, but I would take it out like, yes, I did that because I'm the one taking care of things and I've not uploaded any video to update you on a challenge. And I know most of you are following that challenge. So it might not be appropriate for me to say I'm sorry, but yes, of course, I'm sorry. Just accept it for me like that. Yes, a lot of things actually went on behind the scene, like, and I became very, very lazy to the extent that I don't even check my chart uh, I only do that when I'm going to sleep, so I kind of prioritize other things that I do offline over this particular chart work. So, yeah, uh, I'm sorry for that. But today, yes, the good news is I'm right here again. I'm right here. So we're going to pick up from where we've left off. And thank be to God, I've been able to finish the lessons that I was taking. I've been able to finish those lessons. So right now, it's just going to be the applications throughout. So, yeah, today I'm going to show you one thing okay we're going to look at how to use other blogs to take a trade in a trending you know market looking at other blogs and imbalance and if you've been following me already you know what an other block is and what makes it valid that taking off liquidity and an imbalance makes an other block a valid one so i'll quickly take you to my computer screen and show you what we need to do to actually use this other blog to follow the trend since we keep saying that the trend is our friend until it helps you at the back. Right, so right now, let's go on to the chat and let's see what we're going to do. And thank you so much for sticking around, actually. So I'm going to see you in a chat right away. So right here, we are on a chat and I'm going to be using this GBP USD one hour chart to show you what we need to know, right? And I'm using SNS broker for this. This is the SNS MT5 platform. Okay, so in case you also want to trade using the same broker that I use, you can check out the link in the video description and sign up with SNS. I like SNS because of their instant withdrawal. That is something that I, I enjoy doing, right? So, okay, back to the main thing. I think let me just zoom in a little bit so that you see what we're going to look at, right? So, like I stated earlier, we'll be looking at just order block and imbalance and how to use this order block to take trades in a market. You know, I believe most of you right now know or understand what an order block is. If you look at my previous videos that I did before I stop uploading video, you actually get to understand what an order block is. You know, an order block is only valid when we have a sweep of liquidity or liquidity has been taken and we also have an imbalance. That is the only time we have a perfect, you know, order block that we can use to execute a trade, okay? Now, I want us to use, it, uh, there, there's something I also want to state clearly, okay? Using other block to take a trade. There's something I realized based on my personal studies, and that is the fact that it's mostly useful in a trendy market, okay? When I say trendy market, I mean, if the market is a bullish market or a bearish market, you know, shouldn't be in a ranging market going up and down like this, no. It should be either a bullish market or a bearish market that is the scenario in which you can use this other block and enjoy it the most okay so in in my you know uh, this short video that i'm going to put out here i want us to use just this you know bullish move over here and look out for other block and you know imbalance okay if if you follow my previous video i said that i would like to myself i would like to take uh, trades from both the imbalance and the other block but if you study the thing critically you see when you take trades from the imbalance in an other block which is having imbalance and if you take trade from the imbalance you are likely to risk more than if you take from the other block okay but yes i'll have to do more studies to find out in conditions where i can just take from the imbalance when there is no other block okay i think that will be another studies and another a lesson altogether but for now yeah let's look at what we have to do over here so the first thing that we have to do we are taking it from this angle okay this bottom here and we are going to end it over here so let's look out for opportunities that we can use to trade right so first let's see if we can have an order block so yes price started moving from here let me zoom in a little bit 
I think, yeah, this will be perfect. All right, let me see. Good. So, yeah, we are here. So, price move from here. This is the bearish candle right here. Then we have this bullish move. Uh, okay, then this happened. Price moved down. I don't know if you can see. Let me use this cross here. You see, price moved down. Okay, up to this point. Meaning, price took out liquidity of this bearish candle over here. Okay, so now we have another candle form here so this candle form over here is now our first candle our second candle and our third candle and obviously you can see there is a gap over here okay that made our this particular candle over here a valid order block okay so we're going to mark it down with this rectangular tool over here okay we can extend it further but for now i'm not going to extend it what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this horizontal line and put it right here in the middle so that if price happens to come back into to this line in the future, I'll know that what it came back to this particular, you know, other block. Right. So right now price didn't come back to it. So price keep moving. So now let's focus on the next move and see what we can see. Right. So over here we have price taking out the liquidity, but there's no imbalance. Okay. This bearish candle took out liquidity of this bullish candle, but there's no imbalance because this is the second candle and this is the third candle so there's no imbalance now we have to move on moving on we have this over here good this is a perfect example all right price took out liquidity of this bearish candle you can see this bullish candle came down way below the week of this previous candle so it took out liquidity then we have the second candle then the third candle now you can see there's a gap between the first candle and the third candle meaning we have an imbalance over there and we also have liquidity taken out so this particular candle over here qualified to be called an order block so we have to mark it and extend the line to see what we can do right perfect you could see price went up all right went up then came down to this particular order block once it tapped into it what did we see we see a move upward you see a move upward this is why i i stated earlier that what it is good to use this you know should I say strategy? I don't know. Use this particular principle when you are in a trendy market, you know, a market that is either bullish or bearish. You use that, uh, this particular principle in that market, right? So let's move on quickly and see what we can see again. Now over here, okay, if you look at this carefully, you could see this small bullish candle over here. I think let me just uh, push this out so that you can see what is happening over here, right? Okay, let me let me push it further. Okay, so you can see this bullish candle took out the liquidity of this candle, and there is what we have an imbalance over here. So what we're gonna do is we equally have to mark it. Okay, we don't know when price will come back into it, so we mark it. Now we could see price went up, came here, it couldn't touch into this for us to get our second entry. So yes, we just leave it to go. You don't have to chase it, right? now when you move up there's something happening over here and thank god i i i saw this uh, let me explain this okay you will see this particular bearish candle took out the liquidity of this candle right here so meaning what it's it's kind of valid right we are not done with the whole principle yet so first uh, cons first criteria has been met that's liquidity has to be taken out right and if you look at this next bullish candle and this bullish candle what you have to notice is that what these two candles one two they are within the shadow of this particular bearish candle so we are going to consider one two three these three candles okay as one the bearish candle and these two bullish candle we are going to consider them as one so making this one two three a one candlestick because let me show you something right if you look here this is the week of the black candle which is the bearish candle the week covers what these two candle over here it covers the two candle now so if you consider this as a as a one candle then we have second candle a third candle now we have a fair value gap or an imbalance over here meaning this qualifies to be called an order block so let's quickly mark it out as well all right and extend our line so what what did we see you see price moving up 
then all of a sudden it came down it came down to where this particular order block right then you take another trade over here you leave it to run okay so that is it y you go ahead look for other opportunities in a market okay look for other opportunities in the market if you see some you grab it if there's none you just leave it to go all right over here too we have a liquidity taken out but of course there's no imbalance so we just have to leave it to go like that and when you come to this point let me check if we have an imbalance over here okay we have an imbalance but a very very tiny one okay but still since there's an imbalance over there we have to just go ahead and mark this particular candle over here as an order block okay this particular bullish candle over here you go ahead and mark it as a order block okay so if you mark this particular candle you realize that the price didn't come to it immediately price kept moving up 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 but yeah it eventually came down into it and this is the current movement of price okay this is the current movement of price when price tap into this particular order block right price decide to return and move up right now we have an inducement along this lane okay uh do this video is not about inducement so i think i'll just i'll just forget about that for now i wanted to talk about the inducement and change of character but yeah what i want to show you is basically what we just did right now looking out for other blocks in a trendy market and if you are doing this like if you do this time without number you're going to find out this pattern very very easily that when you open a chart you look at it you know that old oh, price is doing so so and so is doing that you can capitalize on this and yeah use it wherever you want uh, to use it okay it's it's important to stick to what works for you and stick to it alone because there are a lot of ways that everybody trades and how somebody trade may not be like perfect or may not even work for you so yeah find out what really work for you stick to it in the long term it's going to help you right so i think this is going to be it for this video and i'm hoping to see you in the next other video and of course if you're new over here this is a challenge i'm on and today is just another day in it okay uh, hopefully uh we'll end or we'll climb out this challenge on a good note even though i've taken some unnecessary break and i've been so lazy to do some stuff but yeah hopefully we get to end the challenge on a good note right i'll see you in the next video bless up